Hello Aquarius, Aquarius Rising and Aquarius Moon people, this is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting April 3rd, 2017. And a quick reminder for you Aquarius people out there, remember your monthly astrology horoscopes for April are up on a playlist of their, main, of their very own on the main channel page. And of course if you ever want to get a session with me, you just need to go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. You can follow the links below where you can schedule your own session or order a downloadable video file. So what is going on with your astrology though? This week, let's get right to the bit, right to the chase. Well, when it comes to your astrology, we've got a lot of wonderful angles going on, especially towards the end of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and that's what we're going to be talking about. On Wednesday, we've got Mars, the planet of action and energy in your fourth house of home, family, um, and property, forming a gorgeous connection to Pluto, currently in your twelfth house of your past, your privacy, and your hidden zone. And there could be something coming back to you, whether it's material whether it's financial, or something that you've owned, um, or something that used to belong to you, or has been in your name this week. And it could be coming through a relative, it could be coming through maybe even a childhood friend. We're getting something back this week. Um, and this could be something you've been waiting for. This is a time for a lot of Aquarian people if you have, you know, maybe you've been having some discussions about, you know, um, your cut of maybe a family resource, if there's a family limited trust, or there's a probate, or an inheritance. Maybe this is uh, something, maybe not so much on that legal, uh, you know, brouhaha. This might actually be something that is, you know, not even a tangible thing. This could be a person. Either way, we've got some kind of really nice connection to our past coming back to us, and something, it's almost like a tool that we left behind that we need to reclaim. On Friday, we've got the Sun in Aries, in your third house of communications, forming an opposition to Jupiter, currently in your ninth house of broadcasting, expansion, travel, as well as your higher education. And this is a gorgeous opportunity for a lot of you Aquarian people to not only propagate your name, but to put yourself out there to be scooped up in a, in a way, whether it's being scooped up by a new employer being scooped up by the school you want to go into. A lot of you are going to be doing a lot of traveling over the next few months. The Jupiter in the ninth house is going to be trying to really, really burst the bubble uh, around the, the Aquarian people in a good way. You know, get you out of the backyard. This could be some travel opportunities that we can't cash in on right away. Remember, Jupiter is retrograde until June, but we may actually have this deal still sealed. The Sun opposite Jupiter in this area can also indicate, you know, there's kind of a, a weird rush kind of energy to this. Something that we feel like we can't do right away, but we have to somehow make or break. Don't worry about it. It will come later again. But either way, again, there's, a, there's sort of a breakthrough happening in these areas. You may even find out that your education qualifies you for a job that you didn't know you, you could do, that like is doing a hell of a lot more for you than where you are right now. For your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the Cunning Woman. And the Cunning Woman always has a very similar message, you know, for everyone it goes into, and it's basically saying, this week, let things play out. Don't try to respond to every stimuli in the moment, okay? Because the this card can honestly say, stories will not unfold completely this week. And when we talk about letting things play out, there could be some weird stuff going on. People could be saying things, be doing things at work or home or whatever. And with the with the cunning woman, it's kind of like, I'm going to see where this is going. Okay, she just dropped a bomb, but I'm, I, I could just jump into the fray, but I think I'm going to wait and see what she does next. And that's the right thing to do, because the, with the, uh, the cunning woman, it's all about proper timing. Immediate response, immediate reaction could be an overreaction or an inaccurate one. And I think that with the, with the cunning woman, you have to let more information come out. Everyone else is going to be freaking out prematurely, I think. Uh, that's just kind of the nature. That's just because 2017, right? But I think that with, uh, with, with the cunning woman for you, letting things play out may actually spare you a lot of challenges and a lot of heartache. But more importantly, it will also keep you out of the fray in, if, you know, for long enough to be able to jump in and swoop a victory for yourself once everyone's tired out. For your Earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we do have the Four of Cups, upright. Gorgeous card for those of you who are looking for some downtime. Now, the thing about the Four of Cups can indicate that downtime is on the menu for everyone, though. So if you're not looking for downtime, you're not looking for release, you're not looking for things to slow down or to have kind of a cheat week or a slow week, 
this card can indicate it's time to start paying attention to where you can shake things up. And maybe again, with that, like, the Sun opposite Jupiter, you know, find out what you can do that you've never given yourself a chance to try. You know, because the Four of Cups is saying we need to get you out of a rut, Aquarius. We've got to get you out of playing it too safe. We've got to get you out of the place where, yeah, things are okay, no problems, but no excitement either. Because the Four of Cups can also show up for those of you looking for new work where there are offers coming your way that you're denying that you should be reconsidering. And the same could go for those of you who are currently employed. What are we turning a blind eye to because it doesn't fit an outdated formula? Guess what doesn't fit? It's the formula. For your communications with air, we do have the Three of Wands upright. So when it comes to friends and relatives, it looks like a lot of you Aquarian people are getting an opportunity to reconnect or maybe even deepen a connection with somebody that we've been a little bit distant from, or maybe we've been just feeling like there's no way for us to get close to this person, even though we have a really good rapport. This could be a reunion for those of you who are looking to maybe reconnect again with uh, close relatives, close family members, or friends. The Three of Wands can also indicate that a friend or a relative is actually stepping it up for you. And you may find out that they have some kind of, again, some kind of gift or whether a tangible gift or the gift of their own service that has sped along an ideal or an opportunity that you've been hoping to gather for yourself, but they went ahead over your head and did it anyway, and now it's yours. For your challenges week with fire, we have the Empress card upright. Be willing to receive. Okay, Aquarius? Because the Empress card upright is basically saying this week is not really going to have a a, a lot of troubles to it. In fact, they, this, these days will not be full of trouble for a lot of you. Because the Empress card upright can indicate protection, but also at the same time the ability to receive the goods that are coming to you. And to be inclusive, and to allow people to do things on your behalf. You know, you fixed signs out there, you Aquarians, you Scorpios and Tauruses and all of that. You know, sometimes y'all have a real issue with not being the one to do it with your own hands. And the Empress card upright is saying trusting other people to do the work when they've already gone and done it may actually be the right thing to do. So a lot of you are going to be the beneficiaries of a lot of gifts and a lot of sweet gestures this week, and I don't want you to turn it down or do nothing with it. Because again, there's a reason this is all happening for you. Alright? For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the Ten of Wands upright. This could be a little bit of a frustrating week when it comes to love, I'm not going to lie, because the Ten of Wands can indicate a situation where a partner, or maybe one of our children, or even a crush, or somebody that we're just seeing, or somebody that we meet, is perhaps a bit too willing to share a workload with us that doesn't belong to us. Okay, because that can happen sometimes. The Ten of Wands upright can indicate where people are sort of taking advantage of our good graces, or maybe they don't think they're taking advantage, but they're just dumping it all in one place. You know. Sometimes we end up handling other people's baggage. You know, if a new person comes into our life and they got a lot of emotional baggage, or maybe a lot of practical baggage, sometimes they're not savvy or they're not good at reading a room, and they decide to just kind of blah all on you, the new Aquarius person. It's like, what about your clean slate? Sometimes this is one of our children deciding to pawn off on us what they can take care of, um, or they're trying to ask for a lot of help because simply they want to get it done faster, even though it's better that they do it themselves. And the Ten of Wands Upright is saying the sharing of responsibility really does need to be uh, sort of uh, redetermined. <laughs> because with the Ten of Wands, you may be feeling like the right thing to do, the responsible thing to do, is to just get it done. But again, you need to be letting things play out and see what people can do with their own hands, on their own time, and see if their level of initiative is sufficient enough. This isn't supposed to be a test of you. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.